Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I have a box today and it's from Under Armour. They came out with a new mask. You guys know I'm still wearing a mask. I have a whole video about that, that even though I'm fully vaccinated, I still wear a mask. If you missed that video, there's a link to it in the description down below. So I've been wearing these Under Armour masks. These are the Under Armour sport masks. I've been wearing them for about a year now and I have a bunch of them but I do wear them every day and I wear them over N95 masks. Over the course of a year, they've gotten pretty worn down, beat up. Some of the nose bridge wires have broken. My gray one, cause I wear that one a lot. That one, there's no nose bridge wire in that anymore. <laughs> That's not Under Armour's fault. I wear them excessively every day. If you've missed any of my original mask videos, there's a link to those in the description down below. I reviewed every single one of these, including the Project Rock mask. If you missed any of those and you wanna find out about the original mask, there are links to those in the description down below. And I did actually order some of the original masks too, because I'm not so sure about the new ones. These are called the UA Sport Mask Featherweight. Now on the website, it says that it's the second generation Under Armour sports mask that takes everything athletes like me loved about the original and they made it 40% lighter, sleeker, and more comfortable, especially for wearing in the warmer months. Now, most of you know, figure skating coach for the most part. I'm also an ISSA certified elite trainer and nutrition coach, precision nutrition certified. I'm not always in a cold environment and even this time of year, except for one rink, the other rinks are still relatively warm. Feels warm from the humidity in the rinks. And that is one of the reasons why, even though I wear an N95, I wear this over it to help keep the N95 dry that I wear underneath it. Like the first one, it's made with high performance materials designed to be worn all day and when playing sports, which is what I need. Lightweight, breathable, and the outside is water resistant, which is true, although I did start to put these in the washing machine, which it says hand wash. I found that when I hand washed them, they didn't go back to shape and that they did much better machine wash. Part of that is probably me from using fabric softener, which always gets rid of any water resistances. Interior is UA ISO chill fabric, and I'm looking at the website. I'm reading it right off to you. The inside is ISO chill, as are the ear loops, so they feel cool to the touch. Fabric is soft and smooth. Next to the face comfort, moves moisture from your mouth to the insert layer. That is absolutely true, even through an N95 mask. And it's built in UPF, 50 plus sun protection. Structure design sits up off the face and lips for added comfort and breathability. Soft adjustable nose bridge, suede-like anti-slip material to secure it across the face. Here's how they, they say they've made it better. Lighter by 40%, anatomically molded and stretchier for a better fit, cooler and more breathable with more UA isochill fabric, seamless and bonded for greater comfort. And they say, that sizing on these is the same as the original UA Sport Mask. So we're gonna find out because I did that whole video about sizing and a lot of you have watched that. If you haven't watched that, there's a link to that in the description down below. But we're gonna see because I take a extra small slash small and I actually downsized. I had started with the small slash medium because that I was kind of in between sizes and I tried that one first and I found that that was a little too big for me and I went down to the smallest size. So it worked for me to size down. But if you missed the video about all the sizing, I actually measure my face and show you exactly how I came up with the sizing. There's a link to that in the description down below. Let's get this box open. Oh, and you know what? This is super important for you guys to know. I did pay for this. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Under Armour, although I do have links to all these masks in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. And if you use those links, it helps the channel out because we get a little something. But the original masks were two for $20 or $10 each. The Featherweight, the new, the second generation, those are two for $25, which works out to be $12.50 each. And I did pay for it, not sponsored. So this is an original one here. 
Oh, and then this is the featherweight. And I, even the packaging is lighter. Wow, okay. So let's take a look. So I have, of course, you know I got every color of the featherweight. I got purple, which is a new color that they didn't have before. I got the black, gray, and I got navy. And then I picked up two of the original masks because I wanted to make sure, just in case I didn't like these. And I got black, black on black, which is, um, it's black with a black Under Armour logo. And I also got the, uh, it's like a lavender color, but they call it something different. And I can't remember what they call it. I'll put that in the description down below. Okay, so let's first start with the original mask. Somebody left me a comment about a year ago telling me that I didn't have to cut these bags open and that there was a nice little piece of tape there. One of the best comments I think I ever got. Okay, so this is just the black on black standard regular original mask. Why this is different compared to this one. This has the silver logo on the side and this has a black logo on the side. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but this is just the same as this original mask that I have here. Oh, wow, and it's nice to have new ones that like feel good. Wow, I have a mirror over here in case you're wondering. Okay, so this is what the original mask looks like and it comes with the pouch. The pouches on the original ones are all black, unfortunately, except for the Project Rock mask which has a pouch that matches the mask. That's the only one. And then let's see. So this is the, this is the purple one. Ooh, and this has a nice raised logo on it. It's like the lavender color. And you can see how that looks. Again, with the black pouch, I mean, now that the prices come down, maybe it's okay. But when they were full price and they were like $30, I feel like the least they could have done was coordinate the color of the bag to the color of the mask. Okay, now let's look at these featherweight ones. I mean, the packaging is already lighter. So let's see. Oh, there's no pouch. There's no pouch. I guess this is the pouch there's no other pouch okay these are really light these remind me of like the adidas ones let's see wow they're really super light guys i like the feel of that wow what do you think these are really nice and the fit is very similar to the original but it feels like a completely different mask it's much more molded to the face and the logo is sleeker because that's on the side now. So this part here is the mask. And then this part here is really part of the ear loops. Wow. I wonder how this is going to work with my N95. We'll try that. But there's no like separate pouch for it, which I like the pouches. Okay. This is the gray one. This feels so good. What do you guys think? How do these look? They feel really good. And this size is like even more perfect than that. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the original ones. Wow, these are really nice. And this is the black one. Oh, wow. Guys, these are amazing feeling. Wow, so much better. I mean, I honestly didn't think they could improve, but they did. And then this is the purple one. I think I got one more. This one was the only one that had this attached. Let's get that off. Oh, I really like them. What do you guys think of these? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these. Now, I'm gonna go get the N95. I wear it with an N95 underneath. So we're gonna see how this works. Okay, so this is my N95 and I love these. These are 
Bespoke Care. I don't know how to pronounce that. I, I don't get anything if you order them, but you can just go to n95maskcompany.com, n95maskco, I think that's what it is. I'll leave a link down below. I like these. And I heard about these from Dr. Mike Hansen. Anyone out there watch Dr. Mike Hansen? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Okay. The only thing I don't like about these, and you'll see, because my hair's down, I can't really wear my hair down with these. So usually when I'm wearing one of these, my hair is up. <laughs> this is funny. I've never tried to do this with my hair down before. That's on. Now let's grab one of these masks and see how this works with it. I say it works. Success. I'm gonna buy more. Wow, I'm really happy with these. So what do you guys think? Have you tried these new ones? Have you tried the old ones? What do you think of them? If you've tried these new ones, I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what your experience has been with them. These colors are beautiful. My favorites that I've been wearing of the originals have been the gray and the blue. But now we've got gray, blue, and purple. So pretty cool. Have you tried the Under Armour UA Sport Mask? Have you tried the Under Armour UA Sport Mask Featherweight? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with somebody else that could benefit from it and just post it to your social media too. Remember, I post at least three videos a week and at least one of them, sometimes more, is an unboxing. My videos can help you live a better life. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a video. This is Amy, thank you for watching. I will see you real soon, bye.